Hello everyone. Welcome to LICD Lecture 8C. Today we are going to discuss and derive the expression for the closed loop input impedance for a non-inverting amplifier. So let us start with the equivalent circuit of the op-amp. So this is my equivalent circuit of the op-amp having input and outputs ports. So here is my input impedance, my output impedance, and my voltage dependent source. So this equivalent circuit is embedded inside the symbol. So here we have for a practical op amp, R i is around two mega ohms, R o is around seventy five ohms, and A v is around ten raised to five. So that's for seven four one. And uh, we are today lecture focuses on deriving the expression of input resistance with feedback that is R i f. One more thing to note here is V plus minus V minus is called as V i d, which is the differential input voltage. So let us start with the derivation. So this is my uh, input resistance with feedback derivation. So that is R I F. So we uh, what is R I F? R I F R I F is looking into this non-inverting terminals where the input is supplied. So what will be R I F over here? R I F will be V in divided by I plus. So if we are able to relate that those two terms, we have derived the expression for R I F. So let us start the expression. I mean the derivation. Yeah. So from the one, let me just minimize slightly. Yeah. So from for the first step is R I F will be equal to V in upon I plus. That's what we have said. That's what we have to derive. So from the circuit, what is I plus? So I plus can be written as V plus minus V minus upon R I. I repeat, I plus can be written as V plus minus V minus upon R I. And uh, from step number one and two, we can get uh, R I F will be equal to. Uh, again, we are writing V plus upon I plus. So I plus is nothing but V plus minus V minus upon R I. Uh, but V plus minus V minus can also be written as V out upon A V. Uh, why is that? Because uh, uh, V out will be equal to A V times V plus minus V minus for an open loop op amp. So that's why we can write it over here. I, let me check whether I have that over here. Yeah. Here it is. So V out is equal to A V times V plus minus V minus. So hence we get this term. So we substitute this V plus minus V minus over here. So we'll get V out upon A V divided by R I. So this A V and R I will come up. Uh, but also we know that uh, V out upon V in is nothing but my A V F. And uh, so V out upon V in will be a, what is A V F? A V F we have derived. That is the closed loop gain with feedback. That is coming around as A V upon one plus A V into K, where K is this R one upon R one plus R F. So that's what we got over here. V out upon V in is given by A V upon one plus K A V. We substitute these values over here. Let me just min maximize a little. Yeah. So we substitute the values all over here. So R I F will be R I into A V into V in divided by A V. Into V in divided by one plus K times A V. So here it seems that from the denominator and the numerator, A V times V in is cancelled out, and we have left out with a term of R I F, which is given by R I into one plus K times A V. So this is my expression of closed loop input impedance, and it suggests that your R I F is much much greater than your input impedance without feedback. So that means. With negative feedback, the input impedance of a non-inverting amplifier increases, which was not the case for inverting amplifier. It was just external resistor component R1. In this case, the advantage of using non-inverting amplifier is its input impedance is tremendously high. So that's it for I think today's session. We have uh, derived the expression for input resistance with negative feedback. So next time we'll derive the output impedance with negative feedback. So until then, have a good day, and thank you.